Hello and welcome back to another episode of What's in the Box. My name is Sophie Clark and I'm here at Wessex Archaeology's head office where I'll be talking to our in-house experts about the objects they find most intriguing. Today I'm joined by marine archaeologist Lori Roberts. Hi Lori. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank good. you. What have you got? So I've here? got a very weird and wonderful object. It's a mammoth tooth, so it's one of my favourite finds. And that was Whoa. dredged from the seabed off the east coast of the UK. That's a mammoth tooth. That is a mammoth tooth, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's absolutely huge. That's just one tooth. That's just one. So they would have had four in their mouth and that's just one of them. That's the third molar or the last molar oh in their God. mouth. Four yep. molars? Yes. In total? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, sorry, where did you say that was from? So it was dredged from the seabed on the east coast of the UK. So just off Great Yarmouth that way. Wow. Okay. And, um, because I'm not too familiar with that, what, what, right. what is dredging? <laughs> so dredging is when uh, big vessels have essentially large hoovers. Uh, they go down okay. to the seabed and they suck up the seabed to get aggregate material. So things that will eventually go to make cement and sand for the building industry. Um, so this one was sucked up by one of the dredgers and actually uh, found on board one of the vessels. So before it was landed at a wharf on the UK, they discovered it and they gave us a call. So, yeah. Oh, wow. So, so this is a case of... An external company? Yes. Yeah, Calling so we have you, we so. have a few around the UK that we work with. So we at Wessex run what's called the Marine Aggregate Industry Archaeological Protocol. Uh, it's a bit of a mouthful. Um, but we deliver that to companies around the UK. I go out to wharves to train them on how to identify archaeological finds, the sort of archaeological finds they could encounter at a wharf, um, how it got to the seabed and potentially how long it's been there. Uh, this one's quite a rare one in terms of its completeness. So you can see it's that is essentially a whole tooth. You can see the roots here that are still there. Usually when we get mammoth teeth, they're chunks. Um, so they cut off here along these lines and we just get small chunks of them. But that is actually a whole one. Um, that then led to it being landed at a wharf called Dagnum in Essex uh, with the rest of the cargo and the rest of the cargo actually had a lot of bits in as well. So more teeth, not quite as nice as that one, more teeth, more large bits of bone uh, and some really nice Paleolithic hand axes. Wow. So very significant and it all stemmed from that being discovered on board, which was really, really nice. Gosh, do we know how heavy this is? It's been weighed periodically because it was obviously submerged in water for tens of thousands of years on the seabed. And then when it was brought back to Wessex archaeology, it was kept in fresh water. So that's what we okay. do a lot with the marine finds. We keep them in fresh water and that flushes out the salts that have built up over time. Because if you just dried it with the salts in, the salts grow and grow and grow until it cracks. So hopefully by doing that, we've eliminated the cracking in this. Um, and now it's slowly drying and it's weighed periodically to see how much moisture it's lost. And then hopefully when it's completely and utterly dry, uh, it's going to find a home at the Natural History Museum. They've agreed to take it for us. So Wow. Yeah. Okay. But the Natural History Museum were the ones who actually identified this and exactly what it was. Um, so Professor Adrian Lister at the Natural History Museum, he's brilliant with anything mammoth related. He'll always, you know, help us out. Wow. Um, and he's the one who identified it as a third molar and also identified it as being from a 35 year old woolly mammoth. Oh my gosh. He could be that specific, yeah. The woolly mammoth are in the UK from 350,000 to 10,000 years ago. So wow. it's such a huge spectrum. We can't pinpoint a date for it, um, but we think that most of, of these are about 250,000 years, so middle Paleolithic. That's what oh the hand gosh. axes have been dated to, so. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow, so um, on a significance level, Yep. This is going to Natural History Museum, yes. you said. So I'm guessing that makes this pretty significant. Yes, it does. Yeah, the completeness of it makes it significant in itself because usually I've never seen one uh, without, you know, with roots on it and things. So the completeness of it is something quite special in itself. Um, the fact that it was from Area 240 along with these hand axes and things, it just shows that connection um, between Neanderthals and the large animals that were living on the land at the same time. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. That's all right, no problem. Amazing.
Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Low Res Objects, please follow the link in the description. You can also follow us across our social media channels and don't forget to like and subscribe.